Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. I hope your week has started off so right and so perfect. I hope everything is well in your world, that you and everyone you love are all healthy and happy. I am doing this video as promised as a follow-up. Last week, I did a video on the beam box that I got for January slash February 2022. And the box was phenomenal as always but in this box on top of having normal stuff that I expect they had a palette which they usually do include some sort of palette the palette I got to it toward the end of the video and it has 12 shades in it beautiful colors but I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to swatch it if you want to see the bean box video and see all of the other stuff along with a quick view of the palette you can certainly click overhead I will link it for you but Today's video is concentrating solely on the palette and doing some swatches as promised. So this is the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen palette. And the palette features, like I said, 12 beautiful shades. They've got a little warm, but this is a mostly cool palette. So if cool shades aren't your thing, this is probably not for you neutral to cool is where this palette falls. So I actually used a couple of the shades in this palette on my eyes today. Now with these colors, and you know what, should I say? Yeah, I'll say this now. With these colors, you will need a very light hand because unless you have a very deep, deep, intense skin tone, these colors are going to come off very strong. On my skin which I consider very richly pigmented most of these colors would just I have to use a light hand and part of it is complexion part of it is bone structure and um, facial features I fall into the Kibbe soft classic family for based on the assessment that I did so as a soft classic I can't go too extreme with my makeup looks so any of these shades and the eye looks that I would want to wear for them would be just too intense. My face couldn't pull it off without looking really, really over-dramatized and imbalanced. So I did put some of the colors on and I'll tell you as I get to them, but um, I had to mix it with another palette that I got from Beanbox. It was uh, the Tokyo palette. Um, I will look and see if that was a beam box that I reviewed on here. I think it was. And if it was one that I reviewed, then you will see the link to that video overhead. If you don't see a link, then that box was not reviewed because one of the boxes I did skip because the footage was trash. Anyway, back to the palette. So Ace Beauté, black owned business, woman owned business, I do believe. Uh, definitely vegan and cruelty free. And so, yeah, I was really excited to get this. As you can see, I'm gonna show you these colors again, and I'll also give you the names, which I'll have to turn it to tell you the names. Um, the colors are, let's see, can we get it all in here? Perfect. Uh, starting right here, the colors are Pure Moon Glow Stone Orion Vine and Cypress Tree on the first row, and then on the bottom row, starting right here where my pinky is, Shadow, Twilight, Eve, Night Sky, Dusk, and Blackout. So let's swatch. I'm going to try Pure. And Pure is a cool gray, as you can see. Very nice. I actually probably should have grabbed a brush, but I'm, I didn't. I wasn't prepared for real. Um, but yes, it's a nice cool gray, but it verges on taupe a little bit. Um, so it's a a taupey gray, if that makes sense. It looks pretty flat here, but um, as you can see, it, it's it's definitely gray. It's a nice shade. Now, Moon Glow is one of four shimmers in here, and Moon Glow is a silver shimmer. As you can see, it um, it complements Pure very well, and um, I did notice. For the shimmer that I that I'm wearing on my eyes, I had to swatch. Well, not swatch. I had to swipe my brush across it a couple times. Um, 
I didn't press too hard across these shadows, but the mattes picked up easily and beautifully. The shimmers you need just to press a little bit, but that's not a big deal for me. That's not a deal breaker. So anyway, we've got pure right here and we've got moon glow. Now stone is a deeper charcoal gray, as you can see. That would be great for smudging a waterline or um, some, uh, now mind you, I'm not pressing super hard. It is picking up a good amount of color, but my guess is this palette, like many others, you would have to build some of these colors a bit. And it might help to have something like a damp uh, shadow brush that can absorb more of the color and then deposit a darker, um, a darker swatch on the eye. So again, we've got Pure, Moon Glow, and Stone. Orion is color number four on the top row. And Orion is there. Sorry for flipping you all off. That wasn't the intention. Orion is absolutely gorgeous. Hands down my favorite shade in the palette. I am wearing it in my inner tear duct area. I also put it on as a very light highlighter. I like it because this is more of a rose gold very very good at uh straddling the line between cool and warm and then having those pink notes or those pink tones to it makes it really suitable on skin as far as beyond just shimmer it just looks good on skin in general especially if you're not too far on the warm side of the spectrum so very nice vine is the next shade it looks like a nice dark true brown and please just keep in mind, I'm not pressing super hard for any of these. So if it looks like they're not coming up very well, they're not because I'm not pressing hard, but also I, um, I'd like to say that these shades or these formulations are not designed for you to just lightly touch and pick up a ton of color. These are very much a good wearable option if you're someone who is not aspiring maybe to be a professional makeup artist. These are great because you don't need that super heavy pigment for every eye look. It's just not necessary. Anyway, that is Vine. Just a nice dark brown. Cypress Tree is the next one. And I actually started off with Cypress Tree in my crease on both eyes. It's a really pretty burgundy. Uh, just a bit deeper than the dress, uh, not the dress, the jumpsuit I have on. And so that is that shade. That's all the shades on the um, top row. So yeah, we've got here um, Pure, Moon Glow, Stone, Orion, Vine, which is right here. Kind of hard to see, Vine, and Cypress Tree. Hopefully you all caught all of those while I was swatching. On to this arm. Um, we're gonna start off with Shadow, which is a super deep purple, verging on indigo, honestly. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. That's gorgeous. Um, it's very, very dark purple. It's, it's verging, but like I said, close to indigo, very similar to a navy almost stunning um again great for color a great color for lining the eyes next shade we got is twilight which is this ultraviolet color i love this and i'm going to tell you something about this color in a little bit but look at that beautiful beautiful this is also a shimmer this one comes out of the palette really easily it's not like a heavy professional style pigment but certainly it applies beautifully without you having to dig into the palette well in order to get the product. The next one is Eve, which is a true dark purple, not as um, not as close to navy as uh, Shadow is. Whoops, I smudged it. As you can see, just a nice dark purple. Again, good for waterline stuff. Night Sky is the next one. This one is also... Um, this, oh wow, that comes up really blue on camera. It does not look blue in the palette. It is a shimmer. Doesn't look blue in the palette, but 
Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. now that is a good shimmery purple. That is stunning. Look at that. Okay. All right. Next color is Dusk, um, which is, I would say, a cross between purple and red. It's a, it's a very reddish purple. So it doesn't lean toward the coolness that some of these other purples do. This one is a little bit closer to warm if we were comparing. So that's that color. Very pretty. I actually like that a lot. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. That's pretty though. And the last one is Blackout, which is just as it sounds. It's a black eyeshadow. That's nice. And that, even if it looks a little patchy, remember I'm applying with my fingers. That applied super smooth on my side. So the colors again are Shadow, Twilight, yes, Eve, Night Sky, Dusk, and Blackout. Sorry for not looking in the camera. Okay, now that my arms are fully painted, let me tell you about this palette from what I noticed. Like I mentioned, I did use Cypress Tree a little bit in the um, crease. I used Orion in the inner tear duct. And I used, I want to say I used something else. Mm, maybe Dusk? I can't remember. Um, but I did put on one more, I believe. Yeah, I think I did Dusk. I think I did Dusk. Anyway, I just kind of blended it, blended it, blended it. And like I said, I mixed it with some of the colors in the Tokyo palette. Um, let me tell you two things. First and foremost... The colors in here are gorgeous and they apply really well. Um, my only concern is that there are not enough light colors in here for you to do some of the transitions that you might need if you're someone who doesn't do full on dramatic makeup every day. You, if you do those kind of looks, more power to you. I don't because it does not look good on my face. If I do looks, I have to incorporate something that is more skin tone, as in my skin tone, and blend it out. The closest to my skin tone is Vine, and that is right here. It looks like it might be close to my skin, but not really. And it um, it's nice, but if you want some depth, if you want to vary those tones a little bit, you'll have to reach into another palette. This palette is not going to be your sole palette that you'll use for your eye looks unless you do very dramatic looks all the time. The next thing I mentioned, I'm gonna tell you all about Twilight. I love that. And actually when I swiped Night Sky, I like it too. Twilight is very special because I love it, but I have to use again a light hand because if I don't, it can just completely overpower my face. And that is, the broader issue with a palette like this. Beautiful, but I do think that these colors, if not done well, could be very overpowering. Now you do have a color in here that could absolutely work as your lighter shade if you're doing some, some blending magic on your face, and that's Pure. Pure could be used, but Pure is, it's very, it's very light, but it's not... I like something a little more skin tone. That's a personal preference in order to kind of blend things out. I like having something equivalent to a transition shade and I like it to be very close to my own complexion and that pure won't make that happen. And so I think these are gorgeous colors that you can use absolutely to cement a particular look or to really amp up a look that you might be doing. But I don't think that most people especially those who are not going for dramatic looks. I don't think that most people would find this completely wearable every single day, unless, and this is something that you can do even if your face is more in that middle zone, like mine being a classic, you can take some of these shades and there are one, two, three, four, five, I, I would say six, at least half of this palette, I would consider dark shades and you can use them as a liner. And if you use them as a liner, even if you do a very neutral top of your lid look, it can really add a lot of pop to your look without being overdone. I used a bit of shadow, um, which is the dark 
indigo slash navy color that borders on purple but navy and indigo i use that on top of my liner today just so that my liner would have a little more depth and color and i like it on top of it i did um I would like to try some of these other colors as just like a liner or something under the eye and see how that goes. But these are really pretty shades. I would 120% recommend this if you liked any of the colors. I like the formulation well enough, especially for the price. I don't feel like it was too, too expensive. I think you get a lot of product for the price. And the colors are stunning, as you can see. I feel like if the colors are good, me having to take my brush into it more than once is not a big deal. Um, I'm also confident that if I'm not um, picking up a ton of product every time I swipe my brush, I also feel, and this is, is this, cause this could be incorrect, you know, but I feel like if I do that, then I am not wasting product because I'm building instead of having a ton of product on my brush with the first swipe and having to do a lot of cleanup under the eye and all of that. And that's another thing. There was not a lot of fallout from these products. Um, the ones that I use, they blended beautifully. I didn't have a bunch of stuff on my face afterwards. So that was nice. But in any case, that's my quick swatch and chat about Ace Beauté. I'm going to check out some of their other palettes and see if they have anything else that has some of those transition colors that I like and if so then I will try those palettes and see how I like them. I also ordered some products from I believe LYS Beauty that was also mentioned in that bean box review. I ordered some other products from them so that should be coming pretty soon and then I can try them and do a review. So yeah that's it for today. I am I gonna film something else tonight? I don't think so. But I hope you all have a great day or evening wherever you are. Please take care and I will talk to you all soon. Oh, also, if you use any of their other products and can recommend anything, let me know. I'd love to know what your experience with this company is. So I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.